All right, guys, welcome to my first playthrough of Banisher's Ghost of New Eden. I have not seen any gameplay. I've just a few days ago seen the trailer for the very first time, uh, which got me even more excited. I was already looking forward to this game, but now I'm like beyond excited. This already looks amazing and it gives me Witcher vibes and I'm super, super excited. So let's go. Um, I heard this game is quite tough because the gameplay is really a lot like God of War style. So I'm gonna go with normal, I think. And then, I don't know, maybe we can in the game. Oh, these artworks already look absolutely fabulous, by the way. Oh my god. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna go with normal. And if it's, if it's more difficult, then I don't know. We can adjust the difficulty, I hope, in the gameplay. I went with story and proud of it. Whatever is fun for you. There's no, there's no reason to, you know, it's just whatever is fun. This is your game. This is your playthrough. You play whatever you like. Some people like this. Some people prefer story. I think there's no shame in neither and, and no harm. I feel like some people are so like, oh my God, you have to play and very hard. Get good, blah, blah, blah. No. Nope. All right, let's go. Oh God, these loading. I'm going to... I love these loading screens already. They're very Witcher. Witcher 1 drawn loading screens, you know. Oh. Sorry, I'm so excited. Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Dreamed of clouds, great long fluffy bastards, low over the sea. Good morning. I dreamed of the abyss in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. A good day to you, my love. <laughs> and a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. Then we shall charge him double. <laughs> <sighs> I'm serious. <laughs> if the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Atea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Flashbang. Oh. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many entangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all to haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. 
The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. Literally? I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. New Eden, June 7th. 60, <laughs> this is 69 there. 1695. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. <laughs> I'd wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. A Scotsman. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. <laughs> and twice as white. <laughs> nice. I don't mind saying it. I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. Tavern. Well, a hot grog. Or two. Oh, the transition. Can we talk about how amazing these and artistic these cutscenes look? They were so cool. I absolutely love that. And the game design itself so far, really pretty. Superhero cave, yeah. Two swords or something? One sword and maybe, I don't know, a club. Very interesting. Okay, there's a dodging. Oh, I think I took some health kit accidentally or uh, some, some potion. I'm just trying my... My attacks right now. Okay, <laughs> I just wasted my potions, I think. Uh-oh. Is there jumping? Hmm. Okay, I can't go over here. I okay, just I'm sorry. Of long, boring sea voyages to grim, faraway lands. I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. After this, I feel that. Set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. I love the voice acting. Already, so much. I love the voices. I love the Scottish accent. Have I mentioned how grim this place is? <laughs> I heard you the first time, but I don't disagree. Yep. Looks very cool. Really cool first impression so far. Okay. Little tutorial section here. Okay, they're sprinting. Good. Is there loot? Do I, think do I get through here? Sure. Let's go traipsing through the rotten, falling down house. <laughs> She's very sarcastic and I like it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Loot has been spotted. Lilac Tyson. Yeah. Um, Antea. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, he wants me to come in there? Okay. <laughs> You okay? Ugh. Red? Okay. Is it just me or are we not welcome here? <laughs> Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. So they're lovers, but also he is her apprentice. Reach New Eden Town. Okay, I thought maybe I could shimmy here, but. 
What do I do? Uh huh, here. Follow the light. Oh, guys, this game is so pretty! <laughs> No, is there swimming in this game? I don't think I've figured out how to jump. I, yeah, I figured it might be something like you just have to go to an edge and she's automatically gonna jump. Oh, he's already fighting stuff? Yo. Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Same, but I managed. <laughs> are these spectres watching the road? Maybe, but are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? Hmm. <laughs> Just missed the la 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 Music, right? Oh wait, this is where it came from. Is that quick turn? No, okay, sad. Sadness. Ooh, a letter, old and damp. Dear cousin, this farce that is New Eden town has gone on long enough. You tried. You tried all you could to make it work, but build something there. To build something there, sorry. But if the words you send me are true, then by God, take your wife and your precious children, pack your belongings and leave that ungodly place. Come to Providence and live with us. There's farm work here, and Simone and I will gladly take you until you find a place of your own. Please, I'm begging you. Come to us. We are family, and the children will be safer here. John James, Providence, 8th of September, 1694. Is this why this place is abandoned? Or are the specters that we found actually them? Wait, do I take this, or does it just sit there? Is there a... Ah, okay. I thought maybe if I pick it up, I can bring it to somebody that is in another town and deliver it and tell them, hey, I'm sorry, I found this letter. I don't know. <coughs> Dodging into them, but it's easier to break boxes. Okay, I will try. Thank you. Okay, this wall texture just stood out to me. Why is this so shiny? Leather, okay. Just random leather. Oh, this game looks so great, guys. It seems to be relatively straightforward right now. I don't know how much the world is gonna open up. Like I said, I haven't... Oops. No, dodge into it. Can I break this? No. Okay. Um, I don't know how open world this um, this is gonna be. Like I said, I haven't watched anything. Oh, more wanderers. Nice. I'm coming. Oh, I'm supposed to just behind watch you. I want to do that too. I want to put my fist into them and then they start to burn. Yeah, it's easy as falling off a box. I want to do that. <laughs> Teach me. He's my apprentice. Wait, I should be way cooler than him. Can't tell how long <laughs> these people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. Mm. Whoever, this doesn't bode well. Ooh. Yep, works. Mm. Are we going in there? It's a bit too high for me to reach him. Oh, I see shiny things. Oh. Oh, banishment. Attacking with your weapon fills the banish gauge. Is that the orange one? When the banish gauge is full, press A to banish your target. Okay. Oh, I did the thing! I did the thing! Yeah. 
So are these the same enemies all the time until I can banish them? Do they keep on respawning? Ooh, a few letters, okay. Perhaps these words will be lost in time, but I must write them. The date? I cannot say. I know it is the month of June in the year 1695. I thought we would be safer in Providence. I thought we would finally see the children again and the golden wheat fields would ring with their laughter. Their mother now lies dead and I shall join her soon. Something insidious walks the roads. Terrible spirits took us. No Eden is cursed. You who reads this now, I tell you, run. A note stamp and bloody. Oh, that's from the same people. These people left New Eden town just a few days ago. What exactly yeah. is going on here? Nothing good. Okay, is that... Oh. More leather. She surely does... No, no, the... no, it's a dead guy. Okay, what's with the kids? Oh, no. Is that a kid? Looks like a lady. Doesn't look like a kid to me. Oh. <laughs> Spectral dust. Mm. What am I gonna do with that? More leather, and this is the bloody note that I read before, right? Yo. <laughs> So far, no dead children. I hope it will remain that way. Mm. Alpha Wanderer. Charge attack. Okay. Used them all. No, no, no! Oh, I could. I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> I went into Witcher mode and I accidentally clicked X or square again and... Which is attack, sword attack. <laughs> which is a sword attack in Witcher, but it's it's healing here, so I use all my healing potions now. <gasps> Challenge run, no healing! <laughs> I was in Witcher world, I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I going back? That all goes badly for the case. Situation's worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. I like how smooth the gameplay is so far. Empty docks in a growing settlement. Never a good mm. sign. Are the town selectmen sitting on their arses? Isn't that what selectmen do? Selecting? Gosh, this looks awesome. Sorry, I'm... I'm admiring the graphics. When we get to town, we may need to split up to cover more ground. What? You may count on the most responsible student a banisher could have. We'll see if you remember some of your teaching. If you're up for it. Always. The casual chatting while they're sprinting on full speed. <laughs> Boston for Jericho, the Harrow's Hamlet. Is there something like a map? Ooh, no. Ah, ooh, ooh, I like the style. New Eden Town. Ooh, ooh. What's this? Followed, landfall. Okay, so this is the whole map, I guess? Nice. Not the busiest stables I've ever seen. No ostler and no horses. This town is less and less welcoming by the second. I don't know if I should just follow him and explore later or not. Ooh, I, I love this kind of world. 
a bit like foggy, gloomy, dark, but snow, a bit of rain. Hey, no Eden Town discovered. And the hut is pretty cool as well. You're welcome in committee. Let's find Rude. the inn. Let's find Charles. Okay, It'll I be good compass. to see Charles and Esther again. <laughs> would you a lecture on the sanctity of marriage? Oh, oh, uh, Esther wouldn't dare a pretty word to, for so, uh, what? <laughs> Esther wouldn't dare. And we don't need a piece of paper to keep us together. <laughs> I remember you telling her. Okay, you have reached the location of your current objective. Your compass now indicates... Ah! <laughs> I had no chance to read both and react to what he was saying and, like, pay attention to what he said and then take the proper response. That's not fair. Okay, but I guess they were just telling me that my objectives and stuff are marked on my compass. It's fine. There's somebody sitting on the floor. Mm. Very sus. <laughs> Ah, and then you have these golden shimmers on your compass, which basically means you are in the search area, right? Yeah, here, like this. Okay, cool. In Docks Cemetery. So, in is this way, huh? Let me be naughty a little bit and not go to my main objective right now. Hello, ma'am. God, you're tiny. Why are you so tiny? Can I come in? For a cup of Rosalie? Hmm. Okay, she's not jumping over that little wall. Oh man, I want to explore this way. world is so cool. Oh, what's this? Oh, I found a treasure! Oh. Pyrite, piece of eight, 30 times in leather. Okay, so there's definitely going to be some kind of crafting, I guess, with all the leather that I'm getting. So maybe for... Oh, hello, sir. Can I can I talk to you? Get out of my way. It's very much like which I am. They really welcome you. <laughs> Such nice people. Get out of my way. I'm choking you to death. <laughs> oh. Warning, the docks are closed for sabotage by fire. <laughs> why, is it, why are they yelling certain words? All trade to Boston Marblehead, Salem, etc. is cut until the saboteur is caught. Naughty, naughty. Wish you a lot of fun with the game. The voice acting is awesome. So far, literally everything is awesome. But I don't want to praise it too early. <gasps> Rats. Okay, very, very plague tale. <laughs> no fire starts on its own. Not in this cold. So is there some kind Something of side quest now? given a helping hand. My controller goes... <laughs> okay, calm down, calm down. Leather! I guess it's like a little contract, huh? Find the... Pyromancer. The arsonist. Harbour log. New Eden Town Harbour Dockage. Third Blossom of London. Blessing Boston. White Dock. Ah, uh, I think this is gonna be interesting. I hope this is gonna sit there. Yeah, okay. So, if I really wanna do this quest then. But I think like maybe somebody needs to kind of hire me. I don't know, maybe I'm too much We should ask someone thinking. where to find the inn. Ooh, I found a chest. It isn't a Witcher game until someone spits at you. Let's wait. Patooey! Pyrite, piece of eight. Piece of eight, is that a currency? <laughs> it's a very funny name for a currency. Frosty. Ooh. Hey, why do you run into me? Mine. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go to the end, guys. Sorry. Oh, 
Um, not this way. Old Spanish coin, really? So, if I would be a tavern, where would I be? Probably at the center of the town, pretty much. You'll be the banishers then? Come too late. I'm sorry, but if poor Minister Davenport mentioned your names, I have forgotten them. Ante Duarte. This fellow here is Red McGraith. Of course. I'm Lisbeth O'Hara. The minister said you'd have questions. Well? Where's the inn? <laughs> I want a drink. What do you do here? So yellow is progressing the story and white is just other options. What do you do here? What are you doing out here? Most people seem to stay indoors. Since you ask, I came to town to buy a remedy for Mistress Fitcher. My sister has a sore leg. The salve eases her discomfort. We have a small farm some miles from here. And yes, the curse sits there, too. Could you point us to the tavern? We're expected. The King's Arms. I'll not point it out to you, as I disapprove of drinking. It's the large building, next to the gallows. Okay. You may have your time back, with my thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. Uh, something, something, big building. Do we have something like a quest? Inventory, chronicles, haunting cases. Okay, we don't have have a, a quest list or anything. A quest log. Not now, at least. Maybe that will be implemented in a bit. Who fungus? Why do I have hoof fungus in my... What? What am I going to do with that? Oh yeah, this looks like a marketplace or something. Quite big. There's the inn. Okay. But I saw shiny, shiny things, so let's take those. Inn, okay. Very convenient. Can I talk to you, ma'am? Where's the inn? <laughs> I must take a moment by myself. Excuse me. Okay. The lady is writing in her diary. Today I ate a sandwich. I like the music. Ooh. Okay, let's go into the inn. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Poor as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is cold, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is thick skinned Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? Out with it. We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, 
Losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. Okay, bye. The esteemed select woman can be <clears throat> brusque. Forgive her. And rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. <laughs> or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you and your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. They're all very well, fishy. Well, Governor, shall you leave or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how we found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. What do you think happened? Could, you, could your physicians not save him? Hmm. I hope I can ask both. Could your physicians not save him? Would that we had a physician left. Mm. But it would have made no difference. Charles was dead when we found him. And we do mm. not know how or why. One or two among our company have knowledge of the physic. Purples, they said. Rupture, strangery, or sadness. Guesses, or as a man of science in New Eden, I stand alone. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. Mm -hmm. okay. We're not demonologists, and neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home and does not much venture out. The house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Why is the town so empty? You study demonology? About the curse. Hmm. You're a demonologist, you say? I am that. Like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see. To a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land. And okay. those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem. Which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said. As the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock. As Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Dang it, okay, I could, could have just chosen one. Um, or at least maybe it comes back to it. Heroic work all around. Perhaps we'll come for advice. <laughs> Perhaps we may come to you for advice. Please do, madam. For I would be only too glad to give it. It sounded a bit too flirty for my liking. Okay, now it came back to this. Why is the town so empty? Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. 
Where did they go? Will they return? Uh... Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago, and many could not live with their absence. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken. Perhaps forever. Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements. Anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Hmm. Some believe the Quite path the through outside. the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. Mm. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. What do you think caused the curse? In my humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges its spawn upon New Eden, bent on making God's poor creatures suffer. As to the nature of the demon, that's what we're paying you to find out. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. <laughs> our try. contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right. For Charles. Thank you. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. Thanks. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Okay, meet Esther Devonport at her home. Are you coming, Red? Just looking around in the in the room. Rooms, <laughs> multiple. Ooh, ooh, there's something to read. This never gives up on games. Well, it's very, 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 very rare that I quit a game. If I enjoy it, I usually see it through. I might not do it 100% 100, 100 playthrough and do literally everything that you can do, but I definitely intend to at least play the, the main quest. All right, let's read this. Inn's owner notice. As announced at the last town hall meeting, I hereby close the King's Arms Tavern, leaving the key to the selectman. There, there shall be no ale sold nor drunk until the curse is lifted and I return. The storerooms are locked and so are the bedrooms. God bless. Charity Grugget. Okay. Now to find the widow. Compass. The Damn compass. It, Charles. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people are idiots. These people are helpless. These people have no idea what they're up against. I wonder if these answers that I give actually have an impact on anything, really. I don't know if there's gonna be big decision time. Is this the house? Looks like it. Okay, let me let me just have a look around here in the house. <laughs> Imagine you're just living sitting in your living room and then there's this person just standing there staring into your into your three window into your house. 
creepy, especially with a setting like this. Oh, she's been crying. Andrea, Red. Come in. I've barely slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. Oh. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. How were things before? How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now, but I can't imagine it's the same. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well-read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles's interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He is an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. Hmm. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin New Smith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter, by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... sad. Charles thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said, that time and God have not yet healed. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. What? I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. Oh, okay. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. Oh. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. We'll take a look around, if that's all right. May I be of any help? Mm, stay put. We'll find the way. Hints and intent. You have unlocked your first hint. It contains important information about the person it is linked to. You can refer to these hints at any given moment through your haunting cases. Oh god. You understand why a ghost lingers in the incarnate. You must gather hints about each involved inhabitant. Once the hints have all been uncovered, the inhabitant's intent is disclosed and you may complete your investigation. Okay. Uh, oh god. I don't like it when 
prompts like this are timed and you have to read it really quickly but at the same time there's dialogue happening or a fight or something and then i'm like oh boy what do i what do i prioritize right now ah! back in the days not having husbando losing rights and property um very often yeah she's probably or she has to remarry huh oh boy Bundle of letters from Charles, 21st day of February, 1687. My sweet Esther, I can't tell you how much I long to get home. This work in the mystical Scottish Highlands is exciting. I can't argue with that, but I miss the sweetness of our home. However, I know that the few months I have left away from your loving arms will be of great benefit to me. Through this experience, I will increase my knowledge. In all this, I do to protect you from those dark worlds that swirl around us. It is your love and trust that pushes me into these mysterious entrenchments, that pushes me to do my best. It is for you that I do this, for when I can see the pride in your eyes, then I know what role I play on this earth. I know that I can be stronger. I know I can do anything, as long as you look at me with that spark that is only yours. I'm thinking of you. You're forever, your love forever, Charles. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Not me tearing up after reading this. Uh, 5th day of January, 1685. My beloved Esther, how I long to, oh God, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> how long, how I long to hold you in my arms. The announcement of our marriage was to my heart as a delicacy on my palate, a sweet of which one cannot tire. At last, we shall be together and together forever and ever until the day many years from now when we are old and at last death separates us. For only death can extinguish the love between us and I'm sure that not even death can undo the tenderness I feel for you. I want everything to be perfect for our marriage and I will make it so. I will write to you every day until that blessed moment when I can finally shed the weight of letters and tell you in person every day how I feel about you. Oh God. Gosh, no. The poor woman. <laughs> he was a good egg, that Charles. 12th day of August, 1694. My sweet Esther. This is almost this year, right? I was down and yet you were there to support me. You are an angel from heaven to help me in my dark mission. You are the light that guides me through the darkness of the invisible. And yet I feel so sorry for bringing you to this tortured land and know well that things are not as they should be in New Eden. And I'm sorry to have you by my side for I fear for your life. I wish we could have found a quiet corner of this land there to raise our children, but I fear a curse. I think we should leave or perhaps you should go ahead while I defend our home. Think about it, for I cannot bear the thought of darkness taking you away from me. Your love forever, Charles. That porcelain saw many a dinner turned lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. Investigate the study, investigate the bedroom. Understand why Charles lingers, okay. Where are you staying, my dears? The governor had a room prepared for us in the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse? Wouldn't you rather stay here? You'd be more comfortable. It's very kind, but with a long day ahead of us, I don't want to bother you. I don't have much, but promise me you'll come for dinner tomorrow. For old time's sake. Of course. The Every now and again, the flickering of the candles. Pretty realistic, damn. I think so far, graphically, the only thing that lacks a bit in this game is the facial expressions and animations. But it's, I'm not too focused on it. The rest, every, everything else is pretty amazing so far. Printed book, a study of H. Purcell's Chakany in G minor for strings by E. Davenport. E. Davenport. Oh, Esther. Oh, she's a, oh, she's a pianist? Or like a musician? At least. Music essay, Sadness and Interval, or Study of the Aeolian Scale by Heinrich Pietri. Pietri. Okay, it's just a candle, sorry. <laughs> Another letter. Letter from a neighbor. Esther, some food and ale for you. Sorry for your loss. Your neighbors hold you in their hearts. That is sweet. That is really sweet. This is Charles's. It's like he never left. Or like he would come back any moment. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me. Bachelor? That was nice of him. 
Uh-huh. Does he have certain intentions, maybe? Bachelor. <laughs> Almost like a bachelor, you know? Okay, this is locked. I cannot open this. Letter from Eleanor Coombs, November 1694. My dearest Charles, how delighted I was to read your words. It is always a pleasure to hear from you and to know that yourself and your beloved Esther are doing well. I have contacted our brothers in London. Oh, sister. But unfortunately, we could not find anything in our archives that matches the description of the events you have experienced in New Eden. Be that as it may, pestilence and never-ending winters are a phenomena perhaps too broad for us to pinpoint the exact cause. I can give you no better answer, be it sorcery, the presence of an ink ichor, ichor, or something else entirely, we cannot say. All I can do is invite you to continue your research and to take note of all of your observations. Our brotherhood, aha, uh -huh, okay, not brother, but um, yeah. Our brotherhood of St. Paul's stole has so little presence in the new world, any new information shall be precious indeed. Please stay safe, my friend. Yours truly, Eleanor Combs. Uh -huh. I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. I will investigate everything and then talk to her again. Sheet music. A new Scotch tune in G minor by Henry Purcell. Purcell? Could you find nothing better? These days, I lack the heart to play. I can't believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. But you cannot part a pianist from their beloved keys. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit, um, her fingers are glitched into the, into the desk and I was like, how am I going to play with, <laughs> you have no fingers, how do you play? <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. So. I don't know if I'm done with the house until maybe the study and the bedroom is upstairs and that's the only thing I can do. Let me see if there's new dialogue now with her. Esther, I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? Mm. I just came to say goodbye again. We'll keep looking around if that's all right. I'll be here if you need me. Okay. <laughs> just te just testing. Okay, so we go upstairs, I guess. Where were the stairs? There, this corner. With all the letters around, I do not feel so bad anymore about my cluttered inbox. <laughs> Music is pretty Charles cool. is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him and now he's back. A ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Remember when he started to wear these to look wiser and older? No, he was hiding his hair loss. <laughs> you have great hair, Red. Don't mock him. You're you're blessed, obviously. Theological book from Charles' personal collection, Fortalidium Fidei by Alfonso de Spina. Okay. Formicarius by Johannes Nieder. Johannes Nieder? Hmm, I don't know. Charles notes, none of this side of the water and few, wait, none on this side of the water and few on the other know that I came to New Eden as minister in order to pursue research into the new world on behalf of the brother Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole. And what strangeness have I found? There are ghosts here, yes, old and innumerable. But they are quiet. I shall never say the word aloud, but I suspect they are to be witches. And if I find one, I shall very much like to ask her for her story. Okay, witches seem to be okay. Ghosts are not. Ghosts are bad. Witches are okay. A cult book from Charles' personal collection. Tod für die Toten. That's German. Death for the Dead. By Balthasar Hans Frenhofer. That was German. I understood that. <laughs> I'm German. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Am I supposed to do anything here? No. 
Um, are you gonna main story only or side quest too? It depends. I will see how how I like it and how much time I have, but we'll see. I can still picture him crafting your very first bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. This reminds me a lot of um, uh, Beauty and the Beast. Sorry, <laughs> brain freeze. Chess piece, a precious king from a chess set, protected by a glass dome. Wait, 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 can I look That's at it again? That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind them of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me. I want to see if I can turn this around. Okay, no. I thought maybe I can turn and something is underneath on the on the bottom. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He's a good man. He sounded like one, yeah. Like a good guy. Scribbled Bible verses. Job 7, 13, 15. 13 when I say, my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaints. 14. When thou scarest me with dreams and terrifiest me through visions. 15. So that my soul chooseth strangling and death rather than my life. She comes to me in dreams. Charles's okay. notes mention Job, chapter 7, oh, Job. <laughs> verses 13 Job. to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Mm hmm. What's that? Good job. <laughs> Charles notes. What do all these dreams have in common? Are they the promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming? Visions? Foreshadowing? Is someone behind this? Who is the real target and what caused this anger of to burst forth? I need to know how it gets into our heads. Sleep no longer offers rest and this cannot perdure. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? Hint obtained. Inhabitant portrait. Investigate the haunting case to unlock information. So he's the ghost. This is the widow. Uh, old friends, Charles Devonport, ghost. Hint, Charles was worried about the influence the threatening spirit had on the settler's dreams. Intent not obtained. Okay, so this is a little bit like investigating as well. In order to banish the ghost, I assume you have to realize what they want and then give them some ease or something. Haunting cases. Ooh, ooh. Although the path held surprises and many bad omens, Red and Antia at last reached New Eden Town. Okay, this is just a summary of what we're doing right now. Ah, okay, cool. Ooh, Esther. The once joyful and educated good friend of Antea and Red is now a young widow who has lost her anchor and drifts unmoored on a sea of mourning. After seeing her husband's ghost, grieving widow Esther Davenport was deeply distressed. Apparently we can find more things. There's two more clues or hints to be found to figure things out, it looks. Okay, interesting. Bear with me, guys. I'm still learning all the mechanics and <laughs> figuring things out. Came from there. There's this as well. Investigate the bedroom. Ooh. That's a teeny tiny bed. Hmm, lots of cuddling then, I guess. I just... <laughs> oh, where do nightmares come from? Open details. I remember the teaching of my masters, may God bless their souls, against the threatening unknown, when the common knowledge is not enough to understand a situation. The sagacious, sagacious, I don't know, and pious man will wisely turn to the very roots of his art, the words, their meaning, and the power hidden in each of them. Nightmare has nothing to do with the nocturnal female horse, as in the French Kochma, or the German Nachtmar. Mer here comes from 12th century Middle Dutch and means ghosts or demon. A nightmare is not a 
puny fiend sneaking into the bedrooms to suffocate the dreamers, but one of the rarest and most powerful spirit defined by its only purpose, to spread its insidious and unforgiving wrath upon any living soul it may reach. According to my research, no occultist ever successfully banished a nightmare. But why? Could a nightmare be more than a ghost? I'm afraid so. I remember a disturbing poem I read in London in my younger years about the terrifying abilities of such entity, supposedly able to penetrate the dreams of its targets, to influence their thoughts and perception and make them endure their worst fear, able even to bend the distance or alter time, creating tantalizing and personalized nightmare its victims can't hope to escape from. Such a petrifying concept. I pray God will, with all my heart, and so that this I pray God do you say that like that or I pray to God well anyways with all my heart and soul that this is not what has risen upon us how would we then escape despair death and doom I need more information but where to find them Charles Ooh. why is this green why is this blue green purple okay maybe it's just different types of things you can books, obtain Charles See, the piano is not the only thing you paid a pretty penny to ship. Mm -hmm. Charles Devonport's brooch. This is from the Brotherhood, right? A silver brooch habitually worn by Charles, engraved with a distinctive three hilted sword. Oh, that's a sword. Okay. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Children's psalm. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Why would that be lying there? Uh oh. Doctor's note three drops of lavender oil and chamomile infusion before sleep, wintergreen to rub between the palms and behind ears three times a day. If restlessness persists, use lemon balm. Evelyn. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, I wasn't ready yet. Oof. Dang it. Unsend letter to Esther's sister. My dearest sister, Charles is dead. I cannot tell right from left. I cannot tell which day it is or how long ago my Charles departed. My world has come undone. Nothing happened as it was supposed to. I could not attend the burial. The shame of it. How I have failed my dear husband. I just could not find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died, there to see him buried. Lord, have mercy on us and guide our friends to us before it is too late. New Eden will not last much longer without my beloved husband to protect it. I do not have any words left in me, but I thought that you, who loved him so, should know of his passing. Sister? Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made him manifest. Now that we know why he might be back, we should go investigate the cemetery where he was found. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there? Oh, you actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. <laughs> Okay, now we go investigate the cemetery. Let's go. Ye old English. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Can I tell her that I'm going to the Esther, cemetery now? I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? Do you have bad dreams? Has the curse brought with it nightmares? Yes, I've had nightmares. I suspect we all have. Charles warned that something was stalking our dreams. That it had a use for us. That we needed to fight it with all God's might. But now Charles is gone and my nightmares have changed. How so? In my sleep I see my husband falling, screaming into the abyss. All hear him. None respond. He plummets on into the bottomless pit. Poor Charles. With all that's happened, how are you bearing up? This all feels so unreal. 
Just one more nightmare from which I cannot wake. It seems so now, but that will change, I promise. Was there something I should have done differently? Did I fail him? Did I fail Charles? None of this is your fault. I do not want to believe he is gone. He cannot be gone. I do not permit him to be gone. You're in pain, and that might have brought him back. Maybe he lingers because you suffer. We'll do what we can to ease your pain. And we'll do what we can for Charles. Maybe I can ask this again? I don't know. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it. Anything at all, Esther. I have felt Charles' presence. Okay. You can we'll start. Charles is Sorry, let me just skip through this, because I figured maybe she has something new we to say about this, but no. To the cemetery. Please be careful, dear Antea. Mm, the music rocks. Okay, investigate the cemetery. But this is closed. I want to go inside. This looks like a strong room, like a metal door with a lock and everything. Everything else is just wooden. This is very weird that there's this one super massive... I mean, even the main door is just wood. Why? What's behind this metal what door? What would you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. You'll be all right. I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles we shall. Ask around, see what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. <laughs> Aye, you too. Boss lady. Map. To find the location of your next objective, open your map. Oh. Since Sincere Paris shop. Ooh, okay. Can I... No. Okay. So wait, can I walk this way? Maybe here, this way, and then down there? Or I'm supposed to go through the back of the... Mm. Maybe I'm coming back. When I get here, I come back, and this is how I get back to the house. I guess I'm supposed to go this way now. Mm. Anybody else think that Red looks a lot like Arthur Morgan from Red Dead Redemption 2? Hello, man. Usually the compass keeps you on the right track. Ah, sweet. So you just look where the marker's pointing at. Ah, they opened this up, I think. Oh, wait, what's this? Shiny shines? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is this the guy who said, get out of my way? Oh, I just took some coin. Be warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. Calm you, sir. Antea Duarte, Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, oh, of course, I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport, his death has shaken us all. Welcome to New Eden. I'm afraid hmm. you find us at our worst. We're banishers. There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And you are? I, madam, am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling merchant, stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. Uh, about the curse, do you have bad dream- wait, what did he say? Eager to be somewhere else. Yeah, he was a traveling merchant. About the curse, do you have bad dreams? You're leaving town, show me your wares. Okay, let's do- do you have bad dreams? The nightmares. Do you get them too? Of course I do. Not everyone will admit it, but we all have bad dreams. Of what do you dream? 
I dream someone watches me sleep. I sometimes fancy she's present when I'm awake. She never speaks nor moves. She seems to wish me no harm. She just stands there, watching me, waiting, taking my measure. Does she manifest at a particular hour? If she does, I have no way of knowing it, unable as we are in this interminable grey to tell day from night. Well, there you are. Information on the curse, as per your request. Thanks. Uh, I won't even charge you for it. <laughs> True merchant. Tell me about the curse, if you will. I'll tell you this. Those who dare defy the curse are brave indeed, and I fear foolish. Banishing is a job, sir. And to do it, I need detail. If you please. A banisher must have charms. A trinkets, I mean, of protection. If you have a surplus, I'd happily relieve you of your burden. Is that so? What I need is information. That's not how it works. What I need right now is information about the curse. What have you seen that might help me with my work? I've seen famine, madness, the shadow of early death, weather too. So much weather. <gasps> I mean, I've seen it all before. But never all at once. Here, it's everything, everywhere, and all at the same time. Folks stay indoors, waiting to be told what to do. Waiting to die, really. Ghosts in the making, all of them. Did you see this, like, sparkle that was going on behind him? Hmm. You're leaving town? You're leaving town? As soon as possible. Did you arrive by sea? A ship lies at anchor in the bay. Perhaps a captain would take me and my wares to safety. The crew refused to dock, and I suspect they'll leave on the next available tide. We rode ourselves ashore. Might I ask where you abandoned this rowboat of yours? Along the coast, by a path remarkable for its angry spectres and bloody corpses. <laughs> if you wish to make the sailing, I hope your wares can swim. Show me your wares. Care to trade? Most of my goods are already packed, but I never refuse a deal. Sell. I don't know if I'm if the goods that I collect are just for selling, but let me look. What does he have? More leather, wild chervil, a medium-sized plant with green striped stems and spars, can be found in the dark woods region or bought from merchants. Grows on the edges, but what does it do? Silver, grey, and bluish mushroom. Ba -ba 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 pyrite, a chunk of faded brass-like ore. Interesting. Neutral. Neutral, okay. So there's something like not neutral. Interesting. Okay, goodbye. I bid you good day, Squire Paris, and thank you for your time. A pleasure, Mistress Duarte. Do be careful. You too. The drums rock. Yeah, the sound was just cutting off at one point very strangely. Did you see the sparkle that was going on on this tree? Maybe it was a weird glitch or something? Visual bug? I don't know. Cemetery. Okay. <laughs> Just that. Cemetery. Okay. Not a glitch. Okay. Oh, I'm almost there. <gasps> there it is! Is it a wisp? Or how you call it? A wisp? So close to town. Guys, look at me! I'm a proper banisher already! Let's go! <laughs> okay. Will of the Wisp. The cemetery is closed by order of the governor. Screw you, governor! By the way, it's auto saving, right? I don't have to. Manually Where are you leading me? Okay, okay, I follow, I follow. I don't want to lose it accidentally and then be like, oh shit, where do I gotta go? 
Ooh, fighting. Ooh, you're creepy. More of you? Enough. LB to block. Ooh, it's a perfect parrying. No one is safe here. Nice. Spectral dust. Uh, striped wintergreen. Okay. Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. Can't read this. I think a little lantern on the hip would be cool or something because it's sometimes a bit dark but it's mostly because of my light that I have. Okay, yeah, it seems to be auto-saving regularly so it should be fine. Hmm. Who fungus? Oh, it's a mushroom, like one of these tree grow mushrooms. Gotcha. What was that? My, my hand was like... There was a rune on my hand and now it's burning. My fingers are burning! My fingers are burning! Insight. As a banisher, you can feel places or objects that have been marked by ghosts. When in close proximity to these elements, your bane rings will be triggered and light up with an orange aura. Walk around to find the source. Ooh! Ooh! Does it change the intensity until I find it? Like, when I get closer to it, will it be burning more? There's stuff up there. What is this, gold ore? Pyrite. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, the 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 ghost, especially the movement of it, also reminded me of the foglets from The Witcher. I see more and more parallels to I've Witcher. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. Hmm. I mean, it's not like that after some time a grave disappears, right? So they just they tend to add up. <laughs> okay, maybe it was just the bird. <laughs> Many dead in more recent years. Shush! Okay, my hand burning has stopped, so I guess I'm out of the area. Okay, let me go back. I want to find this, this burning thing. This. This is pretty cool. I don't know how big the area is of these effects. So I just need to find a certain object then. Oh, I'm already out of the area. Dang it. I'll figure this out. Gotta be something here, maybe. Or not. <laughs> Wait. I still seem to be in the area. This can wait, I think. Still seem to be in the right area for the sparkly thing. I want to figure this out! <laughs> Ooh, fight! Ooh, ooh. Are you stealing my life? That is very rude. I never gave my consent to that. Mm, okay, the red hand is gone again. Some music in the background? I think so it was, yeah. Okay, is this jumping down or just looking over the valley? Who goes around and lights all these candles? Okay, climbing down, gotcha. Oof. 
Am I blind? <laughs> I'm not seeing what it is. Is it your objective? My objective is to go over there and interact with the thing where the wisp landed on, but I have this effect on my hand which shows me that I there's an object that ghosts have marked and I would like to find this object finally. I don't know if it's linked to the quest or if it's something I can do additionally. But there's nothing I can interact that's in the radius of the effects that are lasting on my hand, so... I guess I'm just continuing with the main objective then. Yeah. Can't find anything else. So what is this? A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Oh, is this it? Okay, I'm stupid. Sorry. <laughs> Ritual site. Rituals. Memories of the dead linger here. To reveal them, you must gather the necessary resources. Aha! Uh -huh. This is how the resources come into play. I have enough pyrite, pyrite, but seashore candles. Insufficient resources. So I'm gonna go if around. If I mix the stones I found earlier with seashore candle, that might do it. Are we talking literal candles? Or is that a, a name for a plant or something? Seashore candles. Oh yeah, there was something I could... Wait, hang on. Charles Davenport. Oh. Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you. <sighs> you fool. You should have waited. Hmm. I don't know what seashore candles are. <laughs> Looked like a plant on the image. Stride wintergreen. And leather, I assume. <laughs> Me just bumping into things and breaking stuff all the time. <laughs> It's actually my- yeah, I was- I was- ah, this! Okay. Seashore candles, yay! Okay, I needed one, but I'm gonna gather as much as I can. Sounds like I will- oh, I can't go on this? Oh, okay, sad. I wanted to explore further. Oh! No, no! Wrong button! Well, you tried. Well, you tried. <laughs> I used my healing again accidentally. Oh, I didn't want to do this. I wanted to I wanted to attack. Oof. Vacuum in all the resources. Yeah, it's loot. Naturally. I'm gathering all the loot that I can get my fingers on. Sticky fingers. Wait, up there. Perform ritual. Banishers can perform rituals. The nature of the site determines which ritual should be performed. Aha, so it's different depending on where you are. Performing a ritual consumes resources, even if you select an incorrect ritual. Oh, so I have to find the right one. Oh boy, okay, this is, oh, oh okay. Hearkening, make manifest, summon scor scourge, scourge? To reveal the memories, you need to perform a hearkening ritual. Oh boy, okay. This one? How to know which one is the right one? Oh, slice and dice. In each stain oh, hides cool. a story. The particle effects are cool. Lots of cool. Ooh. 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 In the name of the Lord, I command you. Charles. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Yeah, I want to see you. <gasps> well, since you ask so politely... Cool fact. Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared! <laughs> Hi. Be gone! You have no shell, no ties, 
No purpose. No. But neither do you. <gasps> Charles! Yeah, crawl away, crawl away. Fish, stop it! Damn it. That thing he faced. What was it? But this is hint. Hang on. Facing the terrifying entity threatening New Eden, Charles Davenport's heart gave out. Oh, wow. Just looking at it, something, and your heart just like, nope. <laughs> I'm out of here, bye. So this is the... This is the item that the ghost marked. Charles's Bible, found half buried in the mud of the cemetery. It's opened at Job 7, 13 to 15. 13, when I say... My bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaints. Then thou scarest me with dreams and terrifiest me through visions, so that my soul chooseth strangling and death rather than my life. This tie is doused with the essence of Charles' ghost. After a closure performed by Antea, the bond between the ghost and the world will be severed for good. Oh, the details. Oh, sorry, I didn't think she would say something. Is there anything else? tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Back to his grave, then. And his grave was... Oh gosh, orientation. I think up here. Or back down there. There, I think. Or there. I'm running! Make manifest. Force a okay, so you can always hover over it. This ritual helps one to tune into a fading but persistent memory. This is to make some ghost manifest using a knowing... Or knowing the tie that binds a ghost to the incarnate is generally necessary, okay? And force a scourge to appear. Sustain, sustain through compelling words, carving or drawing of the Aquila constellation. This ritual will force all types of scourges, harvest or age service that are to reveal themselves. Okay, but we need to make this, right? Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. The scenery. We've come too far. Red and I, not to see you one last time. But Red is not here. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Do I have to fight him now? Ooh, epic. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I know you're here. You know me, ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. Antea, here, at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. Yep. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. What did you learn about the curse? Why not wait for our help? Do you know how this curse began? Yeah, why not wait? Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising. Despair growing. There were so many dead, Antea. So much sickened flesh. So many afflicted souls. 
There was no more time. Oh, I love the music so much. Do you know how this curse began? Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre. And just as relentless. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dante. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. <laughs> Dante, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. How did this nightmare kill you? We'll banish this ghost. Our nightmare's a myth. <laughs> We'll banish it, Red and I. Our good friend's death shall not go unpunished. Be warned. Avenge. This nightmare is too angry to be persuaded. And too powerful to be destroyed. Your death pains us greatly. Your return pains me too. I know. For my part, I'm glad to have seen you one last time. To have had the chance to warn you. If only the wife would be here, right? She could just say farewell to him, that would be nice. Our nightmare's a myth. I thought nightmares were a myth. A nightmare is the rarest of ghosts. A powerful, insidious spirit, birthed by tragedy most dreadful. How do I banish it? There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's a ghost, I can't banish it. You took notes, I suppose. Where might I find them? They vanished. What? In the days before my death. Perhaps I mislaid them. Which is not like me. If you find them, read them carefully. Perhaps I missed something. Something important. Okay, I don't know. Maybe this is total horse wash, hogwash. I think hogwash is what you say. Um, but I have a feeling that this guy that we met in the tavern that we had the talk with, the the big guy, I don't trust him. I think he might be, I don't know, corrupt or something is fishy about him. So maybe, maybe they did something. I don't know sacrifice the the plebs so they can get out of here well, i don't know i'm not too far into it but they were suspicious i think anyway let's move on how did this nightmare kill you i believed that i could come to the cemetery and make it manifest to my initial delight it worked i now suspect it came by choice it seems amused as if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. What did it look like? What did it look like? I... don't know. When it manifested, it appeared as... Esther. My dear Esther, I did not see its true face, but I heard a woman. Not Esther, someone else. She was laughing. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. Oh, the spirit creepy. is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. 
I've heard your warning. You can go. No, I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. <laughs> Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your dear wait. wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Oh Lord, please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antea, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya, she gave him the care he needed. I'm kind of happy that Esther got to say kind of goodbye or at least see him for one more time. My Charles. Where do you think he is now? He's... Uh, I don't know. Not here. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. <laughs> okay. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace. And you deserve to rest. A ghost bodyguard butler doesn't sound that bad. He doesn't require payment either. <laughs> but like Antea said, he's gonna... He's gonna change, and he's gonna go gr grow hungry and such, so I don't know how that means, and what's gonna become of him, but I don't want to find out, I think. I, th I, s I also think Esther doesn't want that. 
maybe he's gonna turn evil or so. Now he's more like himself still, but what if he changes too much? And also, I was right, by the way, about the map that we would come back this way. Sweet. I'm sorry. I'll miss him. Dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. You should get some sleep. You'll need it. Okay. Ah! That's the door. Okay. This game is so good. It's very cool so far. I really enjoy it. Join Red at the schoolhouse. Oh. Oh, this lady, okay. Um, let's see. The former schoolhouse. Good day to you, madam. Antea Duarte is my name. May I ask yours? Duarte? Duarte, you came with the Banisher, did you not? I am the Banisher. <laughs> right. So, you're the face of hope, are you? You're what my tithes are buying. Let me have a look at you. Oh, right. Well, I hope I'm wrong. Bathsheba Ingersoll, or I was last time I looked. Okay. What can you tell me about the curse? Did Haskell not lay it out? We freeze, and at the same time, we rot. Minister Davenport said he'd summoned the best banisher there is. Can you lift the curse? In my experience, most curses are actually hauntings. And while ghosts are treacherous, they're not invincible. Well, I'd like to tell you I find that a comfort. But I'm afraid I would be lying. Okay, then. <laughs> Do you have bad dreams? It may seem like an odd question. But may I ask if the curse has brought you bad dreams? Every time I close my eyes, I'm in this door. Coins fall from the ceiling. Only a few at first. When they hit the floor, they break. Like rotten teeth. Or finger bones, perhaps. The trickle becomes rain. A cascade smashing down to flood the store. I try to flee, but the flood rises too fast. I drown in shards of broken bone. There. Aren't you glad you asked? Hmm. I wonder if, like, you're supposed to read the meaning behind those nightmares as well. Maybe that her greed is bringing death or something about the meeting house? What can you tell me about the town meeting house? The minister closed it down. Said it was dangerous. Imagine. Worship is dangerous now. Do you remember when and why? The when is difficult to say. I admit I've lost track of time with the dullness of the days. Tell me about your store. Why? Would you like to buy some china? Some porcelana? A linen dress? Sure. That's about all we have left. You'll be shocked to learn that there is little demand for the finer things in life and we have next to no supply of the staples. I should have gone when Makes I had sense. the chance. I suppose beneath it all I'm an optimist. And that makes me a fool. Okay. A very good day to you, madam. You're optimistic too, then. Aren't we the fools? <laughs> Everybody is so negative. <laughs> but I guess under the circumstances, it makes sense. It's not too much. Good day, sir. You'll be one of Haskell's banishes, I take it. Ante Duarte. You may meet Red McWraith about the place. You bachelor. The governor had me prepare the schoolhouse the for your comfort. It has fallen out of use. Will that be all? He's the guy who visited the widow, Esther. What can you tell me about the curse? New Eden is scrutinized by God. Better days lie ahead if his servants remain humble and true. I've come to help with that. Red. 
Wait, red? Red response now? I've come to help. Be a Ooh. good and humble servant and tell me about the curse. I'll not waste my time. We, madam, have prayed for salvation. And you are not it. <laughs> okay, then. Do you have bad dreams? Do you have bad dreams, Mr. Bachelor? You don't want to hear about those. I do. Otherwise, I wouldn't <laughs> try me. I'll take your word on it. No, try me. Try me. In my sleep. Chanting demons defile our precious meeting house and burn it to the ground. Two poor souls are trapped inside. A man and a woman, screaming oaths and curses in strange tongues. I wake with a start and rush to the window. I am relieved to see the meeting house still standing. Did you know the Reverend Davenport thought the meeting house haunted? I did know that. To his shame, the late minister ended services and closed the meeting house. No wonder we are where we are. And what do you think sits in the meeting house? Miss, if the devil sits in our meeting house, it means that we, the people of New Eden, have failed to repudiate his works. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. Where are the children? Several died of fever. Oh. We could see disaster coming. We thought we'd have to bury them all. We sent the children to safety. We sent them away. Oh. That can't have been easy. It can't be easy now. No. No, it is not. Okay. Farewell, Mr. Bachelor. And you may wish us luck. I shall not wish you luck. I shall wish you salvation. <laughs> okay. Join me at the schoolhouse. Yeah, that was a little bug, huh? Sh uh, it was showing red as the as the person responds. The devil's work. Town is filled with sinners. To hell with evil worshippers who do the devil's work. We should have sent them all away. God watches us here as we live willingly with treacherous liars. These chanting demons will not get the likes of me, but they might corrupt the weak-minded. May fervor and prayer bless our souls in these times of trial. Oh, Puritans and their sermons. She seems to disapprove of the religious. This part of town is closed by the governor decree. Okay. No. Let's go to bed with red. Well, where we were. New Eden Town Schoolhouse discovered. Is that a mouth drum? Leather, yes. Banishers techniques. Ooh, what's this? As banishers, we are not spiritual guides or inquisitors. We are ghost hunters for hire, specialized in sensitive crafters who train hard to protect the livings through our rituals and knowledge about ghosts and specters. We are no cult. There is no hierarchy nor established dogma among us. The most obvious reason why a banisher becomes a banisher is because he or she wants to protect the living from the dead. Whatever the reason, we are efficient, adaptive, and versatile. Our community is sparse and nomadic, just like our predecessors were. We wander the world in search of living victims of the dead, cleansing, hunting, haunting cases using techniques tried and trusted and owned by generations of masters and pupils, releasing or banishing the ghost, rarely blaming the living. Unlike puny sorcerers, we do not waste our time crafting enchanted rifles with the butt, barrel and stock engraved with runes and other symbols of power for hunting specters or otherwise, who would wish to depend on a single weapon? Instead, we bring our bane powder, prepared according to recipes handed down from generation to generation, rendering any firearm capable of shooting and damaging a supernatural target, no matter what the ammunition, efficient, adaptive, versatile. 
Our knowledge of alchemy and botany helps us selecting minerals and plants whose properties will support our work. We do not waste time in libraries or schoolrooms. We do not waste our time drawing, carving or engraving complex circles of power because what we gain in power or nuance, we lose twice as much or more in time, risking putting ourselves and those around us in unnecessary danger. Instead, a clever banisher carries stamps in wood or metal with which to mark a door, wall or stone with the necessary symbol for the appropriate ritual. We also wear rings upon our fingers with these symbols, so we always have a range of powerful runes close at hand, literally, as it were, efficient, adaptive and versatile. Thus we prevail, thus we fight, thus we send back the creeping dead where they are supposed to be. From Death to the Dead by Balthasar... Balthasar Ha Frenhofer. I think that was the German guy. Mm. Nice, a loaf of bread. Or half of it. What's left? <laughs> I was too close. We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. <laughs> but. <laughs> but. But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? Charles would have done the same for your ghost or mine. I hope he'd have at least hesitated. Charles was a good man, full of love. Banishing his ghost wouldn't have been easy, but it would have been right. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake. They steal life's essence from the living. Why? They don't always do it out of malice. Give them that. Spanishers, we bring closure. The dead have no business with the living. So, we did something that is not banishing now to him? We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. Would you banish me? If it came to... You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. <laughs> Can That's I? That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost. <laughs> you with me? And then I kill you again. I'd do anything for you. You're a scruffy-headed lout, Red McGrath, and I will never let you go. Over my dead body, mister. I thought I was meant to be the soft-hearted one. <laughs> you are. Oh boy, she's gonna die. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be a... What did he call it? A nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. She said, over my dead body, she's gonna die. Oh. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Don't you guys have a bed? Poor Charles. Poor Esther. Hmm. Don't pity the dead, pity the Aye. living. Poor Esther. Ooh, this looks cool. Ooh. Oh, this is a nightmare. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Holy. 
Yep, nightmare indeed. And Taya, she took her fire bane. She says I'm the reckless one. Landfall quest. Oh, now a player's him. Find Antea. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. Death to the dead. All right, guys. That was so far pretty, pretty cool. I'm really enjoying this and I can't wait to discover more of the story and play more. Really enjoying it. I can't wait to have like a bigger fight. So far we only fought minions and I'm looking forward to our boss battles and such. Really excited.